because the birds are moving very rapidly, viscous disturbance of the air around it is restricted to a very narrow wake behind it. If you think of how an object moves through a fluid, if you're moving very, very slowly, you end up more or less in all directions disturbing the flow. And that flow actually decays very slowly with distance. The faster you move, the more that region in which the drag dragging of the fluid by your body is important, the more that gets combed closer and closer to your body. If you swim very fast, all that viscosity physics is squeezed into a little wake. In the case of birds, I haven't seen theories that really discuss in mechanical detail the interaction by the wake. People tend to say we don't worry about the air, we just know that the birds have a preferred speed because of the balance between their flapping their wings and the drag with the air. They interact with each other not so much by momentum exchange through the air as by perceptual interactions where they change their moment, they turn. So people tend to write down dry active matter models to describe birds in the air. But on some time scale, I think they're going to have to worry about the fluid.